Hi, this is George Melt with Enterprise DNA, and in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to edit data in R using the Data Edit R package. Okay, so the idea here with uh, Data Edit R is this is a package that will let you, using a GUI, which is actually built using Shiny, which you may be familiar with, uh, can be used to build dashboards and reports in R. Uh, we will be able to point and click and edit and enter data. This can be downloaded through CRAN. And if you're not familiar with that, I would check out our R for Power BI users courses on how to download the package. We're going to go through a short demo here. I'm going to pick a data set from CRAN. We are going to do some basic data editing, manipulation, and then we'll be able to save this. So this is stuff that we're using a GUI to do when R is actually a coding tool. That's kind of interesting. So we're going to boot up R Studio and get started here. Okay, so here I am in our studio. First thing I'm going to do is data edit R. So we're going to read that in. And if you don't have it installed, uh, you'll need to do that. Uh, what I'm also going to do is go to this browse uh, vignettes here. Uh, and I'm going to do data edit R. Now this is a cool function because when I run this, it's going to check, hey, are there any tutorials for this package? And yes, there's actually a pretty good one here. So we can learn more about how to boot it up, how it works, uh, importing data into it. We're not going to actually do all of these steps. So you can check this out later for more. Uh, as you get more advanced, you can even do things like add checkboxes. So really you could think about using this as a web application because that's really what Shiny is meant to do. But we're just going to focus on the data editing elements of this package. So I am back in our studio right now, and I'm going to call in the ECDAT package. So if I run this, uh, this package has a lot of cool um, packages. I'm sorry, a lot of cool data sets. So I'm going to run this data package equals ECDAT. And when I run this, you're going to see, and I just ran it too quickly, but here are a bunch of data sets. Now this is coming from ACDAT is uh, econometrics data, data sets. So there are a lot of kind of business oriented data sets that are good to, to practice and demo on. So we're going to use one of them. Uh, we're going to use the housing data set. So if I do data edit, and then I'm going to run housing. All right, so this is going to pop up a new window here. And now we're in this data editor. Okay, so what you're seeing here is we can upload a new file if we wanted to do that. Okay, we're in housing right now. So we have a few options. So select columns, we can click this, and this is kind of a uh, like a button approach to select which ones we want. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, actually, it looks like I did. Let's actually refresh. Uh, this actually loads it back into your data set. So I don't want that. I wanna go back to data edit. And here's our data set again. I'll show you how to actually uh, close and load your, your data. Uh, so we can select columns here. We can also filter rows. And again, this can be on numbers. This can be on strings. So maybe I want stories less than two or something like that. I could even add another level if I want. And this package is in development. So sometimes things don't always work as seamless as they might. Uh, but you get the idea. So I'm just going to add this. Let's go ahead and close here. Uh, we could filter that way. Uh, synchronize. So basically what's happening here is we're just syncing the uh, data set back to what we see here. All right. Um, and then the saving. So this is generally what you're going to do. You'll want to save the data. Uh, save selection of file. So this is right. If you have certain things on your clipboard, you can save this or you can save the entire data set. So for example, if I wanted to save this, it's going to be saved as a CSV. And then you actually have a record of what you did here. All right. So let's actually get from this row here down to here. So you're seeing you can select individual columns. Now, if I right click on the column, I believe, there we go. So you actually need to right click on one of the cells in the column. And I don't think you can right click on the header. So maybe that can be an improvement for the next round. But basically what you're seeing here is if I right click, you've got some options. We can insert rows. 
we can delete, add columns, etc. So for example, you know, maybe I add a column here and this is actually numbered as row 547 because I believe we have 546 here. Um, actually, I don't know what's going on with that index column. Maybe it's because we filtered it earlier. I think that's what's happening. Um, anyway, so here's what we can actually do if we needed to, we could just data entry our data here. Now, this is something that you can't do in Power Query, for example. I mean, this isn't the best idea anyway, but there are cases, maybe you wanna build a web app where people can enter their data, and then this shoots right into an R file, right? And then this can go to whatever pipeline you want. So you could think of this as maybe like a front end tool. Uh, another nice thing is if you're just getting used to R, it can be kind of frustrating to change the names of columns or to add columns and things like that. And this is all just point and click, right? So I can just point right in here and maybe I want to change stories to like end stories or something like that. All I have to do is click in here and type that and that's what we have. Uh, a lot of other tools here. So you see this. A uh, little checkbox here. I can actually do kind of a fill handle, just like that would work in Excel. I can, let's scroll down here. Uh, if I were to select certain parts of the data set, um, I can play around with maybe making them look different. I can uh, select rows. And again, if I just wanted to keep some of these rows, I could save that selection. So really the best way to do this is make any changes and then I would say to save a selection to the file. All right, um, and then, or you could crop a selection, right? So if I take this, I'm gonna then select what I want. Um, okay, I'm not actually sure what that's doing, but you get the idea, right? So like I said a couple of times already, this, this package is in development, but really the, the big takeaways here are the ability to edit data and especially uh, the names of columns, right? And I could even, if I wanted to, uh, insert a column here. And this V1 is just the default placeholder for column names in R. Okay, so I'm gonna say that I'm done here. All right, and then basically what you'll see here is the altered data set gets printed, right? Uh, and if you wanted to keep a copy of that, you would then wanna save it. So that is the data edit R package. Okay, so to recap here, you can use the uh, data edit R package for data entry. It's kind of an Excel-like interface, right? You could just point and click over it. Now, one of the things I will say here is that when you're doing this, you know, R is really meant to be a reproducible tool where any change that you make is fully auditable. And when we are using this GUI and just kind of making selections and hard coding cells, it's not totally the most reproducible tool although it, it does have its user interface advantages. So uh, just to keep that in mind, I uh, hope you can use this. Let us know how you find it. And that's it for right now. Thanks again for watching. This is George Mount with Enterprise DNA. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.